Hello fellow YouTubers. Well, we've made some modifications to the system. Uh, we were going to use one of these swimming pools in here, but we were on our way home today and <laughs> we found this for 40 bucks. It's a 275 gallon. Um, cut the top out and uh, got it running here. Um, got a line on two more of these in the same price range. I'm going to use those to build our grow beds. So, the swimming pool, which I don't think I ever shot any video of, it's bye-bye, we threw it out of here. Um, this system will be able to, um, it's gonna be a recirculation system to a sump, which the sump will actually be made from um, the bottom half of another IBC, and the, then the, uh, the third IBC will be cut into two grow beds. So we'll end up with three grow beds, a sump, and the tank, which will stay at a constant level. Um, no water going up and down on it, which will be much better for the fish. Um, did some measuring and realized that our system out here, um, that we wanted to do the um, Dutch bucket style with, um, we're going to be able to run line out to this and recirculate it back, and of course this is just a piece of PVC I stuck to make sure that they would be long enough in 10 foot lengths, um, to run this system off the same uh, sump, off the same pump, and recirculate back into the tank. Uh, what will happen is that the 250 gallon mark will put two drains in this that drain back down into the sump. So whenever we put water in the big tank, Whatever we put in will drain out, so it'll stay at a constant level all the time. That'll cause the water to be recirculating with the sump, and then the, the plant beds will all be fed off the same pump that recirculates. So just a little bit bigger pump, so that it's got enough to feed all the plant beds and the um, recirculate the system. Um, if at any point we decide to add more plant beds, um, if the pump's not big enough, we just change it out to a bigger pump. Um, that's where we're at. I, I, I'm tickled to death at finding this thing. You know, we've been talking about it, and they've been going around here for around um, 175 bucks. Um, just couldn't afford to buy them. And like I said, saw this thing. Uh, we ran to the bank. We grabbed money out of the bank, which we borrowed from something else, <laughs> and took the top off from our geo tracker and actually threw this thing in the back of our geo tracker. It was hilarious. But we only had to haul it about a half a mile. Um, and the guy's got two more of them um, that we've already told him we want as soon as we have the money to be able to get them. Um, they're going to be a little bit harder to clean out. They had some kind of a, uh, a dye in them. Um, it's food safe, so this one here had honey in it originally. So it was nice and easy to clean out. Keep growing. Oh, forgot to bring you guys over and show you this system now running. Um, we got the sump down there running with that. Um, stuck a little couple of plants in there, just put them in today so they're still a little bit wilty, transferred them out of, uh, out of the soil system. I'm going to put um, local fish in this because they'll be able to tolerate the 72 degree temperature that that uh, water will maintain. So just a little bit of an update on that system as well. Keep on growing.